At a time when many parents believe children don't spend enough time playing outside, several communities across the nation, including Coral Gables, have taken innovative approaches to make play a priority for the health and well-being of their children. Leanne Morejon has that story. Belkis Coral Gables has received a number of distinctions throughout the years. It's been called a historic city. It's also been called a tree city USA for its beautiful landscapes. But now, most recently, we have been called a playful city USA. Proof of how much the city values your child's right to have some fun. Kids in Coral Gables have many outlets in which they can run, jump, and play. This is so evident that the city of Coral Gables was chosen by Kaboom as a playful city USA. Kaboom is a national nonprofit organization dedicated to bringing play back into children's lives. The city was chosen as one of 93 other communities around the country. Coral Gables values the importance of play in the lives and development of children and Parks and Recreation Department Director Fred Cusero is leading this effort. But I think play is something that really having children active, having them to have the ability to go to a playground, go to a field, throw a ball around, instead of being holed up in their room playing video games or watching television. So I think as a health factor and for the betterment of the societies of the future, I really think play is a big deal and I think it's very important for us to trumpet the value that play does in terms of fighting wellness, fitness and obesity. According to Kaboom, 82% of parents feel their kids don't spend enough time playing. Coral Gables was chosen for implementing programs to positively impact childhood wellness, public safety, and their quality of life. As part of the city's efforts to improve these programs, the Parks and Recreation Department has certain projects in the works. As the future rolls around in this year, we'll see um, new play spaces in Riviera Park. We'll also see an improved play area in Salvador Park, Rotary Centennial Park, which is on the northeast side of, of our city, that we are putting in a brand new playground. It'll have a play space and it'll have a walking area for the people to enjoy that park. And hopefully by the beginning of the following year, we'll complete our last park, which we hope to have a new playground in Phillips Park as well. So that'll be four parks that we'll be putting in new play spaces or improved play spaces. And it's just one of the different things that we are doing. Among the facilities available in Coral Gables for playful activities are the Venetian Pool, the War Memorial Youth Center, the William H. Kurtick Biltmore Tennis Center, the Biltmore and Granada Golf Courses, along with 30 other neighborhood parks. It will no doubt be a challenge to bring the necessary improvements to certain Gables parks, but Cusero is confident that it can be done. Um, funding is going to be an issue in the next few years. It'll be a challenge for us. Um, so we can look at different things. We can look at making local agreements with our area schools to use their play spaces. We can look at local businesses to maybe provide some funding and provide facilities for us or the opportunity to help us provide new facilities. And I think as we continue to do that and start and keep having the events that we have and keep upkeeping our facilities, we'll have the opportunity to continue to be a playful city USA. The City of Coral Gables and the Parks and Recreation Department wants to make sure that everyone, both residents and visitors, the young and the old, can take part in all of the leisure and play activities that the city has to offer. At the end of the day, it's all a part of the Parks and Recreation Department's mission. The mission of Coral Gables Parks and Recreation Department is we, through our top-notch facilities and our programs, we want to create memorable life experiences. Anything that comes in through our mission statements, our vision plan, our vision statements, everything goes back to one basic thing is we want to create memorable life experiences for anyone that comes into contact with our facilities, with our programs, or with anything that we do within our department. If you'd like to rate some of the Coral Gables parks listed on the Kaboom website, visit www.kaboom.org and make sure you and your family enjoy a little bit of play every day. And for more information on the city's Parks and Recreation Department, you can reach them at 305-460-5600. For Coral Gables Now, I'm Leanne Morejon. Belkis, back to you. Thanks, Leanne. And that does it for this edition of Coral Gables Now. We hope you enjoyed the show, and thank you for watching Coral Gables Television. On behalf of the entire CGTV team, we hope you have a safe and hurricane-free summer. Bye-bye.